about Ron Atkinson because I'm from Kettering Town. He was the Kettering Town manager many years ago, and we've got quite a few Ketteringers who watch this. So can you tell us anything about Big Ron? Because obviously you played under him at Villa. Oh, I could, I could sit here all night and tell you about <laughs> Ron. Actually, he's, a, he's, a, he's a mate of mine now, and, you know, I he's a great manager. And, you know, Graeme Souness, for example, I've been with Graeme quite a long time. He signed me at Benfica, Galatasaray and Liverpool and I went to Newcastle and Blackburn as coach and he's a, he's a, just an honest winner. Yeah. You know, he tells a great, like he is on the TV, he's really good at that, he's the top pundit and that's how he speaks to the players. Simple, great, give your all and he'll back you. Um, Ron Atkinson wanted to be one of the players. Ron wanted to be playing. He actually used to play every day. In training, right wing. Um, he had a sunbed in his office, a Bentley, of he did. <laughs> full of jewellery. Uh, <laughs> um, and he was hilarious, and we didn't even know it. And he could he could fall with everybody, and then be friends with everybody within ten minutes. You know, every, everybody laughed at him like every day. Uh, but like some genius things he done. I mean, sorry to mention it, but you know, the, if there's any Man United fans watching, in the cup final in 1993 at Wembley, the league cup final, they had the best team ever. I think you know, see the best team ever. Like, what a team! It was Paul Parker, Dennis Irwin, Bruce Pallister, Schmeichel, Schmeichel didn't play. It was Les Sealy in goal. Roy Keane, Paul Ince, Giggs, Cantona, Hughes. And Chelskis, you know, what a team. And he, he had to think we could beat them. And we played 4 5 1. We never played it, ever. I played up the middle on my own. Um, I only touched the ball twice, scored two. I only, I, I never, I didn't enjoy the game. I was just running round, not getting a kick. Daly and Atkinson played on the right, uh, where Salah plays. Yeah. Only Daly played on the left, where Mane plays and then Graham Fenton made his debut um, he hadn't played before he just put him in and said Mark, like man to man Paul Ince uh, <laughs> and, you know the, our team out was Thornton Barrett Sean Teal Paul McGrath Andy Townsend Kevin Richardson Graham Fenton Dalian Tony Daly and me Bosnich and Gold and we won he, and he never played that system before. Tactically, he never played credit for it. But I can tell you now, he is the reason we won that game. We won 3 1, but it was down to Ron. The but apart from that, you know, he played right every day and he was hilarious, ruthless as well. Yeah. And didn't care who he had to go at. His personality was bigger than everybody's. He was, he was bigger than Paul McGrath, who's the best player I've ever played with, best defender anyway. Mm -hmm. um, bigger than. He could handle all the big name players, and you know, I'm thinking that I, I wrote down 18, 18 stories about Ron. Funny stories, Blimey. but one of the one of the best. One of the best. This is it. This is will tell you what the sort of atmosphere we had. We played Oldham away. Oldham right. were in the Premier League. Hard place to go. Boundary Park. Was it? Is it Boundary Park? Oldham. I think it is. Um, anyway, it was Oldham's ground. If I got it wrong, sorry. So we get there, and it's uh, it's freezing, right? But Mark Bosnich has turned up in an Aston Villa tracksuit, but he's got Timberland boots on, brand new. You know, like um, Arab yeah, coloured Timberland boots, but size thirteen. His feet were massive. So he's, he's got a tracksuit on. We've all got tracksuits and trainers on. Club issue. And he's got a pair of Timberland. So, because we call Bozzy the freak. We call him the freak because he's a bit different to, what, to everyone else. But anyway, we walk in the dressing room and we got the warm-up. So, why i done it, I don't know. But it got me so much. I put my, I, my, my boots for size sevens. I had small, I've got small feet. 
so I could get my boots inside this timberland. <laughs> now, bozzy has gone out on warming up, and I've run out for the warm up with Bozzy's timberland boots on. <laughs> like, as a joke. So I've run up to Paul Barron and I said, Yeah, lay, lay me one, lay me a ball, lay me a ball. And I had a shot in the mud with Bozzy's brand new boots. And he's gone, like, What can you do my boots? Like, a disgrace. Like, anyway. Jim Barron must have told Ron I was messing about in the warm-up. So it's nil half time. I missed a one-on-one with a goalkeeper. It died right. netting right on half time. So we've come in at half time. And Ron's gone. Right, some of us, he's making a cup of tea. You know, them big urns. He's making himself yeah, a cup yeah. of tea, putting the milk and the sugar in. Everybody's sitting there quiet and he's stirring his cup. And he went, some of us are not at the races today. Not at the races, some of us. And I just looked up and I got eye contact with him. He goes, you're one of them. I went, what do you mean? He goes, what do I mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? And he'd had it in his head anyway, because I put all their boots in the warm-up. And he went to throw his cup into the floor and he threw it straight in my face. Boiling hot tea. He didn't mean it. He's thrown, he's gone to throw it in the floor, but all the teas hit me in the face. Jeez. So I've I've got up as like, you know, it's fighting talk, isn't it? Someone throws yeah. a cup of tea in your face. So I've got what are you doing? And, but, but the backs of my knees were on the you know you sit on these the benches in the yeah. dressing room. I I couldn't move. I couldn't move. So he's pushed me back into the into the wood. And he's got me by the throat, and his his head is purple. <laughs> his face looks like it's going to explode. He's that angry, <laughs> right? So, assistant manager Jim and breaks it up, pulls him off, and he got. I've gone. That's a, I've got this old tea boiling not tea in my face. I've gone. That's a disgrace. I've gone. That's a disgrace. And Jim Barron's gone. Dean, he didn't mean it. Thought it was Lucas Ed, right? So, <laughs> As if that. So I'm now like I've got my I've got my I'm like this I can't believe it because I was one of his teacher's pets. <coughs> Paul McGraw was, but I was like I was in I was in the top four. So I was sitting like this, shaking my head, and he goes and he and he's now guilty. He's feeling guilty now, walking up now. And he's going, well, some of us can sulk. Some of us can get out there and prove me wrong. It's up to you. If you want to sulk, you can sulk. But if you want to get out there and show me I'm wrong, so I've gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, get out you go. So we go out on the pitch. I'm not exactly in. But the ball went back to Earl Barrett, out to Ray Houghton. He's bent it round their back foot. I've run in, diving header, scored. Brilliant. Right, a couple of minutes after we've kicked off, Ron runs on the pitch. He's on the pitch, pointing at me. Give me a thumbs up. I'm just, I'm just blanked him, shook my head at him. Uh, Daly and scored a great goal for us to win the game. So the next day is the Ryder Cup at the Belfast. You know when they had the salmon jumpers on? Yes. And that was the next. We had it. On. So Ron was going with his wife Maggie. I was going with Steve Staunton. And we were going in the Lucas Electrical tent. We were we were invited to go in that. So we were in the Lucas Electrical Hotel. But, but be, before we got there, on the bus, because we'd won 2 0, Ron gets on the bus and he's going, Dino, Dino, did I ever tell you you're my hero? <laughs> tomorrow, pal. Don't put me at the Ryder Cup, will you? Come on. You know I didn't mean it. Oh, I love you. I was going, no. I'm not having it. Chucking boil not tea in my face, gaffer. I bang out of order. No, come on. Don't, please don't blank me tomorrow at the Ryder Cup. You know I love you. You know I love you. Anyway, next day, we get to the Ryder Cup. Thinking nothing. At the Belfry, I've walked out with Steve Stone and up to the putting green. On the putting green is Corey Pavin. American right. golfer. He's caddy with him. Got a bit of string out. And he's putting down this bit of string. And who appears behind him over the other side of the putting green? Ron Atkinson, cowboy hat on, <laughs> green trousers, and a flower. Right? 
and he sees me and Steve over the putting green, and he went, do you know? Do you know? <laughs> and Corey Pavin stopped putting, and his caddy stopped putting, turned round as if to say, who's this? Shouting. And Ron went, Corey, I don't care what you got to do out, what you're going to do out there today, pal. You, you should have seen the goal he scored yesterday. Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> And then his wife, his wife, he won't, he come round to see us and his wife come over and she said, did my, my wife told Maggie that he threw a cup of tea in my face and she's, she's punching him. Did you throw a cup of tea in one of the players? He goes, I never meant it. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. He meant to throw it into the floor, but it went over. But it, that, that used to happen every week. We used to have things like that every week. That's brilliant. So we had some By the way, we had a really good team. That team. 